AMD Radeon Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 580 Samsung BIOS Mod. In this video, I am using AMD Driver Crimson Relive Edition 17.4.3. You should be able to use any of the newer drivers after this, but just in case, this is the one that I'm using in this video. So make sure that you've downloaded recent AMD drivers for these cards. You may have to use the AMD Pixel Clock Patcher here in order to get the modified BIOS to boot properly into Windows to get the drivers to work properly. I had to use this on my 570 to get it to work. The 580 seemingly did not need it. I did not patch my drivers. I restarted after modding and it worked, but the 570 I needed to patch with this patcher to get it to work. You just run the patcher. It'll tell you it's found a bunch of files and need patching. Patch them, restart, and they should work. The Polaris BIOS editor here that I'm using is Jack Aknack. I hope I pronounced that right. This is the only Polaris BIOS editor that would show my timings and memory straps properly. If I use the original Polaris BIOS editor or one of the other forks, the timings and straps were not shown properly. This one worked with both of my cards. So I'll put the link in the description along with everything else and download this one. This is the one that I'm using in this video. Last is AMD ATI, ATI Flash or ATI Win Flash. You're going to make sure that you want version 2.74. Make sure that you've downloaded 2.74, not the earlier version. This is the one that I'll be using in this video. Before you modify your BIOS and flash your card, it is recommended to have your BIOS switch on the silent or normal clock settings. So make sure that you've switched it to the side where the display ports and the HDMI ports are, where your display outputs are. Here you can see in Windows, my 580 is hashing away at just over 27 mega hashes per second. I've already overclocked the memory to 2200 megahertz. So I'll close all that. I'll close GPU-Z. You can see it's Samsung memory and GPU-Z. I'm going to go ahead and go into the ATI flash folder, ATI flash 274. And then I'm going to right click on ATI Win Flash and run as administrator. In ATI Win Flash, make sure that you have the proper video card selected. If you have more than one video card, you can see under system video devices, I've selected Radeon RX 580 series. I only have one card in the system, so that makes it kind of easy. I'm going to click on save because I want to back up my BIOS. Make sure you type in a name that you're going to remember and make sure you add the .rom extension and then click save. ROM image saved to file. I'll click continue. I'll move this over to the side. Backtrack out of the folder. Go into Polaris BIOS editor and open Polaris BIOS editor. And now I'm going to click on open and open the file I just backed up. Here is my 580 ROM. You can see that there are two sets of timings and we want to edit the first set of timings. So I'm going to go up to 1 colon 1750 and I'm going to copy that and paste it over 1 colon 2000. And that's it. Now I'll go to save and type in a file name again that I will remember. So I'm going to change original to modded. Then I'll click on save. That saves my BIOS. I can close Polaris BIOS Editor, go back to ATI Win Flash. I'm going to click on Load Image and then select the image that I just modified. I'll open that. And then click on Program to program your GPU. Again, make sure you have the proper one selected in System Video Devices. Once it's finished, it will say your VBIOS was programmed successfully. You can click OK.
It will then ask you to reboot the system before the changes take effect. You can select now and reboot, or if you haven't applied the pixel patcher, you'll probably have to apply that. I'm not sure why, but when I did flash this card for the first time, I didn't actually have to patch the 17.4.3 drivers, but I'm assuming these cards should need the patch. So you can try without the patch. If it doesn't work without the patch, don't worry, you can still boot into Windows, get into Windows, the drivers just won't be working. So you can then patch them, restart again, and everything will be fine. I've done that already. So now I'm back into Windows and you can see that my 580 is hashing away at over 30 mega hashes per second. I'm going to go ahead and downclock it to 1133 megahertz and I'm going to undervolt it about 100 millivolts. Now you can see my wattage is down. I'm down under 80, about 80 watts on the card, which is not bad. And now you can see it's actually giving me about 29, 29.7 mega hashes per second with that clock, which is pretty good, pretty good wattage. If I try to down clock it a little bit more to 1066, I can get the watts down a little bit and the mega hash will probably drop about one. When you see 27 on the screen or something lower than what it really should be, that's just because I got my screen recorder on. So ignore those lower numbers. So here you can see it's getting about 28.5, 28.6 mega hashes per second. Just under 80 watts. So it's probably worth it to run it around 1100. Get that 29 mega hashes per second. It's just a couple extra watts. You can play around with your clock speed. You can undervolt it, see how much you can undervolt it, see what rate you can get. So I hope you like this video. I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.